The Mississippi River, an idyllic ribbon of commerce, a truly American place, populated by Huckleberry Finn, riverboat captains, and an endless stream of barges carrying freight deep into the heartland. But along its banks are also communities and people for whom the barges are empty. The region faces many challenges with high unemployment, poverty, hunger, and drug abuse, leaving many to feel hopeless. A study was done that surveyed 147 counties, uh, primarily around the Arkansas area, but in seven states up and down the Mississippi River. And what they found was that 20% of the population lived below the poverty line. 30% lived in substandard housing. 50% did not have their high school diploma. And over half were unchurched. For George and Kathy Chin, the problems aren't just economic, but spiritual. The Chins serve as coordinators for the Mississippi River Ministry. The Mississippi River Ministry is a partnership of eight state conventions, National WMU, and the North American Mission Board. And it was developed to fight poverty in this region while reaching lostness. More than 50 ministries comprise the Mississippi River Ministry. Food pantries, clothing distribution centers, education programs, shelters for the homeless, and many other ministries seek to meet practical needs and share the good news of God's love. Some, like the ministry of Frank the Bike Man Riddick, meet a very specific need. Frank collects and repairs hundreds of bicycles each year for needy children. I didn't have a bike growing up, and I wanted to give all the children in Clinton, which is a small community, everyone that didn't have a bike, I wanted to give them a bike, and I thought that would be the end of it but God led me to do more because people give me so many broken bikes. I work out here in this shop uh, probably 40 hours a week on fixing bikes. And then we, and I load the trailer up that holds 30 bikes. We take care of our community and then we go to other communities. The Bags of Hope Ministry provides personal care items for homeless shelters, children's homes, and other caring facilities. If it's kids, sometimes we have toys that are in there, sometimes just uh, coloring books, crayons. Uh, adults, we usually put like pens, notebooks, and then I take the bags to the facilities. Other ministries are broader in scope. The Shining Light Baptist Outreach Center provides low-income children and teens everything from hot meals to education, worship, and recreation programs. This ministry believes that Whatever the question is, Jesus is the answer. Drugs are a tremendous problem. Uh, kids are facing raising themselves because their mothers are working and they can't afford child care. So uh, you name it and we've got it. These are people that are pretty well forgotten. Impact Ministries helps meet food and clothing needs, while the Christian Women Job Corps provides training to help women succeed in the workplace. The purpose of the ministry was to meet the needs of low-income families. Each time the young mothers come in, or even, you know, single mothers or older women who are raising grandchildren, we invite them to the Christian Women's Job Corps class, and we tell them simply it's women helping women. It's been our motto ever since we started that if we can just... Uh, you know, bring a woman one step above where she was when she started the class, then we know we've done what God wanted us to do. River City Mission provides a roof over the heads of homeless men and families. When they come here, they're usually so down. They have, Their demeanor is just completely gone. I want them to see that God loves them. You can be involved in these and other ministries along the Mississippi River through your prayers, financial support, and time. Our goal is to try to connect those who have the resources with those who have the needs. They need mission teams and people in churches who have skills to share the gospel and to just share Jesus' love in a friendly way. Getting involved in ministry is not just a blessing for those being helped, but for those through whom God is working. That's a joy. And 
no greater joy than to give a child a bike that's never had one. It's a way to let them know that Jesus loves them. I, uh, I just love it, and I feel like this is right where God wants me in this point in my life. Oh, it's God's work. It's, you know, I just felt like it was, it was a calling. It was something I've always wanted to do. I've never had less and been happier in all my life because I know I'm right where God wants me, doing what God wants me to do. There's nothing more exciting than seeing the tears after they have asked Jesus in their heart and hugging us and like said, I came here to get some clothes and I found Jesus in his place. Now that's our pay. Is God calling you to be involved in Mississippi River ministry? There's a place for you.